Hey, what's up, everybody? Black Reality TV. I'm back with another video, man. Shout out to the LDBC, the Lions and Basketball community. So, you know, I've been on a little hiatus the last couple of weeks. I um, had to take care of some personal things. Um, but I'm back. Um, I was inspired to uh, talk about this topic because um, I was listening to a couple of uh, shows, FS1 and also um, ESPN, about Steve Kerr. Uh, the coach of the Golden State Warriors. Now, Steve Kerr is criticizing uh, Anthony Davis' uh, trade demands that he uh, went over to New Orleans management and uh, requested a trade to the um, first it was, it was to the Los Angeles Lakers, and then first, then after that, it was reported reportedly that he just wanted to get out of New Orleans, uh, regardless. But uh, all that being said. Um, he ended up going where um, most people thought he was going to end up going, which is the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Steve Kerr has an issue with it, saying that hopefully it doesn't become a trend uh, that players like Anthony Davis uh, request trades and get out of their contract and go where they want to go. Now, um, my my whole issue is, and shout out to Shannon Sharp um, from Undisputed. And he nailed it right on the head. I'm, and I'm going to take it a step further. Steve Kerr. <laughs> I, I'm going to be careful how I say this. Steve Kerr. I, I'm just going to keep it. Let, let's just keep it a buck. He exposed his 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 ways. Put it like that, man. Um, the, the hypocrisy of Steve Kerr in... A lot of these other people that want to parrot this, well, um, we shouldn't allow players to uh, dictate where they want to go. And but it's okay for the organizations to trade these players and um, lie to them, like Chris Paul say that we weren't the Rockets, um, saying that we're not going to trade you, and then wind up trading them to uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, just numerous instances that these these organizations are dirty. They don't give a damn about them. They see they see these players as livestock. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And you got to be careful, like guys like Steve Kerr. Steve Steve Kerr is one of these guys that you see on a regular basis um, that will um, will smile in your face and. Um, Try to try to spark a conversation with you. Nine times out of ten, it probably be about something about sports and try to get you comfortable and you know make you seem you know get you relaxed. But um, Malcolm X told us, man, you got to watch out for guys like Steve Kerr, man, the so-called you know white liberal. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Quest X, man. I heard this video. He did an excellent video talking about it, man. Um, it, it just it just exposes the hypocrisy of Steve Kerr, man. Like for you to get upset about play uh, uh, a particular player uh, wanting to leave out. So Anthony Davis should just waste his prime away and just be content because he's with the Pelicans. No, fuck no. He wants to take his career in his own hands. And this is what I I had to salute LeBron James. LeBron James is not going to be the greatest player of all time. I mean, let's just, let's just face reality. He's not going to be the greatest player of all time. But his legacy in the game is great. But I also think his legacy off the court and what he has woken a lot of these athletes up is realizing the power that they have and understanding their worth. And LeBron James is waking a lot of these men up. And guys like Steve Kerr is angry that they can't control these players. The organizations, out of all the sports, NBA organizations have the least power. This is not like the... um, this, the the NFL, which I call not for long. For example, let's say LeBron James. He has three years left on his contract. They can't. The Lakers. Let's say if LeBron James starts 
like drastically slipping, uh, um, drastically slipping over these next three years. The Los Angeles Lakers can't cut him and then don't owe him any money. They can't do that. They can cut him, yes, but it's it's a fully guaranteed contract. Guys are realizing Anthony Davis. Kawhi Leonard pulled one of the most power boss moves I've seen in a long time. He waited, and a lot of people are upset, like the Los Angeles Lakers and Raptors fans, that they got strung along, F them, fuck them. He did what was best for him. He basically said, look, I want to be a Clipper, but I want this guy, Paul George, on my team. Y'all get that done, then y'all come holler at me. Once that's done, then I'll sign a dial line with the Clippers. That's what happened. That's some, that is legit power. But you know where that came from? That came from LeBron James, man, in this era, in this, this particular era, where he did the decision back in 2010, 2011. That's revolutionized player movement. And it's changed the landscape of the NBA. So in closing, man, Steve Kerr can kiss my ass, man. You're full of shit, man. Like like I said, man, I don't hear nothing. I don't hear you complaining, coming up saying, man, man, it's wrong that these players are getting traded, man, from 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 these teams and, and being lied to. I, I don't I don't hear that coming out your mouth, do you? Oh, but when oh, but let let me guess, Steve Kerr. Oh, but when players realize, hey, look, I have some power. Let me see if I can go here. Let me see if I can team up with this guy, that guy. You got a problem with him. You was the beneficiary of that. Y'all was recruiting Kevin Durant when he was still currently under contract. But you ain't going to bring that up, though. Miss me with that bullshit, Steve Kerr. Fuck out of here. I'm out.